Hello there. Are you over 60? Do you have mature skin? I certainly do. I have all of the wrinkles. I have the crow's feet. I have the uh, crepe skin. You name it, I've got it. Hi, I'm Peggy. I'm your Saint 3D makeup artist where we use one palette and one brush to create one layer of makeup. I love cream makeup. I wish I had known about it or it had been invented many years ago, but it's here now, so that's the important part. What makes this different is that we use three shades to create one layer of makeup. Instead of doing your whole face one color and then coming back with a little blush, we're actually going to sculpt our faces. We're going to camouflage the things we really don't like in our face and would like to, to be a little bit less noticeable. So we're going to get as rid of as much of the distractions as we can that we don't like, but yet still give that natural, shiny, just youthful look that we all know and love. Saint uses three shades, a contour shade, a brightening shade, and a main shade. So let's start with the contour shade. I know what you're thinking. This is crazy. Look how dark that is. Hello, Ireland. So glad you're here. We're going to take this dark shade called contour, and we're going to put it on the hard parts of our face, which is going to be the forehead. Then we're going to come and we're going to feel for that cheekbone and we're going to go right on top of it starting right about the outer corner of the eye and just go up towards the ear there we go now come over here we're going to do the same thing this is not contour this is a natural shadow from volume loss how many of you have volume in your face as you have aged me and definitely right here now we're gonna feel for this cheekbone and go straight up towards the ear there we go now are they exactly equal no do they have to be no thank goodness because i never do get them equal that's where the blending comes in i'm just gonna tap a little bit more on over here i am a contour junkie i love defining my face and it just gives me that much more of a lift and it takes away from all of this marionette stuff I have going on down here. So now we're going to start and we're going to define the jawline right there. Again, don't come too far up on the face. Keep it on the jawline. Now, let's contour the nose. I had never done anything like contouring my nose before Saint. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my pinky, rub them together. Hi, Australia. Glad you're here. We're going to be shipping to you by the end of the year. That is so exciting. Okay, we're going to put them right here together and just drag them down the nose. Now, what that is doing is going and making the natural shadow of your nose that much darker. Hi, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. Oh, hi. So we're making our noses a little bit more elongated and just a little bit narrower, just to give you that little bit different of a look. Now, we're going to move to the brightening shade. The brightening shade is a highlight, and it you want to catch the light. So what we're doing is creating a focal point. So we're going to go right above or right to the top of the eyebrow from arch to arch and then right down between the eyebrows and then right down the center of the nose. Now, look how much narrower my nose looks just from doing this little bit of a different shade as opposed to one shade all over our face. Let's face it, our, our faces aren't flat and that's how one shade makes them appear. Again, we're gonna have one layer of makeup and we are going to still have that little bit of a natural look. We're not going to look like we're wearing a mask. It's going to be us, only a little bit better. Now, let's come to these eyes. We want to brighten the eyes. So we're going to come to the outer corner and the inner corner, like right down the side of the nose. And what we're doing is just brightening. We're not gonna go underneath the eye because I have crepe skin under there and I don't wanna put any more product in that area than I absolutely have to. 
So we're just going to come right down the inner corner, right down just a little bit. Now, you want to give the eye a lift, and that does by highlighting that little bit, but we can go a little bit further. Let's just make a focal point from the corner of the eye up into the temple. And again, we're just creating a focal point by brightening. Look how that lifted the eye on one side. This eye is still droopy. This one looks more lifted, more awake. So let's do that over here. So here we go, just creating a little bit of a focal point. And you don't want to pull the skin on your eye like I just did. But there you go. So now our brightener is placed. Notice how we're strategically placing this makeup and we're not overlapping it. We're not piling it on. We're putting each one in a strategic place. Now we're going to move to our main highlight, which is going to be the, the shade that's the closest to your natural skin tone. So we're just going to put that where we don't have any other makeup. There we go. Now, if your marionette lines, your smile lines, or even these laugh lines are really, really deep, what you can do is come back with your brightener. And what these are, they are folds, and that creates a shadow. So while we made shadows with the darker shade, the lighter shade, you put it right in here, just like this. And that is going to take the shadow away. Now, mine are not terrible, but if yours are, that's just a little tip of something you can do to make your face, again, just take away some of the, the, the distractions that are there. Is it still going to be there? Of course it is, but it's going to be less noticeable. Now we're going to continue with our main shade and we're going to come up here and fill it in right in between the contour shade and the brightening shade. Now you here you can really see the three different shades. And again, everything is strategically placed. It's all where it should be and it's all in its lane. Now, the last thing in my palette is a shade called Royal. This is a lip and cheek. Yes, dual purpose. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, let's get some lipstick on. There we go. And now we're going to come and we're going to put our blush. See how we have our focal point to lift the eyes and we have our contour line. Well, we're going to put our blush right above that. We're not going to bring it close to the center of the face. We're going to keep everything high and lift it. We no longer can wear our makeup the way we did years ago. We aged, but our makeup didn't. That's where the cream comes in and makes everything so much better. Again, about the corner of the eye and go right up. And again, we have our, our focal point or our brightener. We have our lip and cheek or blush and then our contour. That's it. Everything I use is right here. Now, cream makeup does need to be set, and this is a call the 3D brush. This is a wonderful brush, my favorite one in the collection, and it does, the makeup needs to be set, so you can either use a setting spray or a powder, a setting powder. You can spray your face and then blend. You can blend and then spray your face, or you can do both, or you can just blend and then use a setting powder. As long as you set it, you're fine. I like to be different. So I am going to spray my brush because I like to blend with a damp brush. I feel like I get a and it's easier for me to do and to use is to, to have a damp brush. Now, I'm going to start at my jawline simply because if I don't, sometimes I forget. Then I catch my profile in the car window and I've got this big line right there. So what we're going to do is start right here at the bottom part of the ear and just gently circle around the jawline and then drag it down the neck. This is the only time you want to blend down. Every other time, blend up. But that's okay to do it here because you don't want to leave that line. 
There we go. Now, let's start in over here at the bearded area, and we are just stippling. Stippling is just gently tapping and pressing this makeup into your skin. And this is going to, where you put it is where it's going to stay. It's not going to slide. It's not going to move. It's not going to cake. That is the beauty of cream. Amazing, amazing stuff. And we're just going to continue to stipple and spread. And again, it's just tapping and spreading cr like cream, like it would cream. Now, we're going to come to the nose. We took the time to contour the nose so you don't want to blend it out. Uh, one of the main issues when you normally start with cream makeup or with contouring your nose, you blend too much. You want a soft, gentle blend. So we're just going to give it a tap up one side, down the other. See how the shadow's still there, the light is still there, but it's not those distinct colors. That's what you want. Now let's continue. We're gonna catch the eye and up on the focal point. I'm going to flip my brush around because see how nice and, and domed or pointy that is. And we can get right, in, right into the corners. There we go. And again, we're just tapping and spreading. You can even catch the eyelids. What little bit of product is on the brush will go right on those eyelids and just help color correct anything that might be up there. Now we're going to move up and we're just stippling still. Now we're going to come to this contour. Again, we need to do be a little bit heavier handed. Notice I didn't swipe like we normally were taught to do. You have to kind of unlearn the blending that we were taught to do. So now we're just going to circle. We're going to go up into our hairline and we are just soft blending. See how I can, I still have the darker shade, which is framing my face. It's bringing my forehead down or giving the illusion that my forehead is down. And we are just going to join these together. That's all you need. Not a lot of blend, not a heavy hand. See how pretty this is. And cream gives you that glow again that we had back in the day. Everybody knows as you get older, everything changes. Now we're going to come to the cheeks. The cheeks, we need to flip our brush around, and I like to just soften the contour and then grab the lip and cheek and just drag it up into my temple. There you go. You don't want the, the distinct lines. You want a nice, soft blend. This too, this is not contour. That again is a lost a loss of volume in my face. Okay, we're just gonna tap this and then we're gonna grab that contour and bring it, just tap it up. And there you go, we are done. So what do you think? What do you think? My makeup bag is right here. Again, I had four shades and one brush. When you start your color match to these three shades, the lip and cheek is strictly up to you. That is a personal preference. Do you like pinks? Do you like reds? Do you like berries? Do you like corals? What is the shade you like? Again, see how royal looks very dark, but it's really not on the lips. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What can I say? How do you get started with this? It's so simple. You need a color match, and that's what you have me for. Not only do you get this wonderful makeup, but you get me as, say, your coach. What I'm going to do is make sure you are happy with your application and that you know how to do your application, and I can troubleshoot it if we need to do a FaceTime or whatever. That is my gift or what you get with this little palette from me. So the way you get started is, again, with a color match for these three shades. So how do you do that? There is a number going to be down at the bottom when I get off of here. You request a color match. Then I want you, once the, the link comes, I want you to go to a window in your home where natural light is coming in. Open the curtains and lift the, the blinds. I want you to be makeup free. I know. I hated that part too, but you get over it. Makeup free, I want you to look into your phone, 
straight into your phone, not up here or down here, look straight into your phone and get your face, a little bit of your neck and a little bit of your decollete if you can, and just send it to me. There's a couple of questions I need you to answer just so I kind of know what you're expecting out of your makeup and what shades you, you would be the most comfortable with. It's just that simple. The other thing, if you aren't 100% satisfied, Saint has a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. So why my question to you is, what are you waiting for? This is beautiful makeup. If you are 50, 60, 70, 80, even 40, this is beautiful on, on the women who think they have mature skin, but really don't yet. It, it, yeah, what I wish I had the skin I had when I was in my 40s now. I am north of 60, I am 68. And again, this is me, only a little bit better. I thank you so much for joining me today. You've blessed me with your presence. You can even comment match if you would like and I'll send you the link if that makes it easier. I am so happy to do that. You be the reason someone smiles today and I'll see you again next time. Bye.